Hey guys, welcome to this video and it's the last episode of the Raw series. So we've got abs, core to do. Um, I'm gonna quickly make my drinks up. We've got pre, intra, post. Uh, trying out the new pre-workout Mike and Ike. Uh, flavor from my protein and then we're gonna head down and get straight on into it. Right guys, so we're down here at Warehouse Gym. So this gym is gonna be the third home to me when I'm doing the Olympia this year. Uh, it's quite close to where I live and um, it's got some amazing equipment in here. So I'm looking forward to training down here. We've got uh, abs obviously today. So we're gonna get straight on into the workout and the first exercise is a straight leg raise. Leg raise. <laughs> Wow, I done them for a bit. Um, again, just to touch on, this is the first proper ab session we're gonna be doing since the Arnold, so a fair few months ago. Um, I tend to do it once or twice a week, but I've just been neglecting it. So once a week from now on, typically on a Sunday. Um, first exercise is one of my favorite exercises. I hate it, but it's one of the most um, productive in building your midsection. So on a leg raise, you've got your lower abdominals, you're getting your upper, and lower abdominals as well, your V, your obliques, and your transverse abdominals, which is what pulls, pulls your core in tight. Uh, so I normally do four sets to failure, between 12 and 15 reps, no swing. So a few uh, tips to take away from this. Don't just think you're gonna come straight in and start doing leg raises off the bat. It can be quite difficult if you've never done them before and you have to progress up in strength. So what I would typically say is if you're training with a training partner, make sure they've got their back to you so that you can rest your lower back against theirs. Uh, that way it's, it prevents the swing until you build your own core strength up. It just gives you that resistance a little bit. Secondly, tuck your knees into a knee crunch rather than straight leg. That way, the center of gravity is closer to your, your body, so it's a bit lighter, shall we say. When the leg's straighter, it's a lot harder. Um, so these are just little tips to, to make them easier or to progress in weight by doing the opposite way around. So the second exercise is a weighted abdominal crunch. This is something what's gonna build that thickness within your upper and lower abdominals. So and people say to me, how did you get that thick, blocky looking midsection? I put it down to heavy weight. So I used to do these quite heavy, uh, six to eight reps. You know like you would any other muscle part, if you're trying to make them grow, you basically break the muscle fibers down and then give them long rest periods. So I'd hit them hard, six to eight reps, and then I'd be resting them for three or four days before I hit them again. Once they were fully recovered, we'd go again. Uh, that's how I built it. So we're gonna do uh, four working sets. I tend to work in blocks of four. So four working sets um, around the 12 to 15 mark. I don't go as heavy now because I've got the thick blocky abs. So for me now, it's just about maintaining, shredding up as, as best I can. So a question that I get often asked is, is it better stood up or kneeling down? And the answer is there's no better way. Whichever one you feel the most, hit that. So in certain, on certain cables, I feel better stood. 
this cable I feel better seated. Uh, it's free flowing and I don't know, it just feels better as a crunch. So just go with what you feel is best. So the key to this is to make sure you're getting the crunch motion. So you're arching forward. It's the first time I'd ever admit or tell you to arch forward. So as you come down, you crunch, exhale all the air out and you crunch your midsection. It's very easy to shorten the movement by bending the knee, straightening the back, and you're basically bending down rather than getting that crunchy motion. So don't go too heavy with the weight to start with and get that nice crunchy motion before you start putting loading the weight on. Right, so the third exercise is something you will not often see. And this is because you don't often see these machines anymore. Big shout out to Panata for bringing this back because this is a brand new machine. So they're obviously bringing the old school machines back. And I love this machine. When I was in the teenage years, so they were talking over 15 years ago, this is how I started my oblique work. Um, it's a great exercise and it's all about that twisting motion. So, but one tip I'd say about obliques, don't often crunch. Try to stay away from crunching, always try to twist. Crunching is gonna accentuate your, your, uh, your waist, so you're gonna look a bit wider. Whereas a twist is only ever gonna help you define them up. Um, and I learned this the hard way because I was obsessed with oblique training. So I wanted all those serrated obliques popping. I widened my waist early on because I was doing a lot of crunching. So lesson learned. And uh, yeah, we're going to see how we go. We're going to increase the weight, but again, it's not important to add mass weight to this because your obliques are made up of loads of small muscle groups. So there's no point overloading it and just straining and pulling you. You're just going to swing it. You're not going to do anything. So it's all about keeping control of the weight and movement. Okay. So the key to this as well, is make sure you get your breathing right with the movement. So when you get to the final part, the fully extended part, you gotta make sure you're fully exhaled with all your air, so there's nothing in your stomach. That way, one, you don't risk getting a hernia or anything like that, but two, you get the full effect of that crunch. Uh, don't swing it, don't rush it, make sure you're getting that mind-to-muscle connection. Your turn. So we're moving on to the fourth exercise, uh, which is a normal sit-up. Nice and easy. This is something that often gets missed because they start doing all these fancy exercises, but you don't really don't need to. Go back to basics, nice, easy crunch, you're laughing. So I tend to try and do uh, four sets of 25, so 100 in total, with about 60 to 90 second rest. Again, sets of four, just keep it in that four range. That was a struggle, especially after leg raises. <sighs> so we've done the heavy weight resistance machines, now we're going on to a bit of calisthenics, so a bit of own body weight training. So we're coming on to um, TRX, I'm just going to do some knee crunches. With these type of exercises, you make it as hard as you want to make it. So if that's too easy, just rep them out. Slow the weight down, crunch your abs, and fully contract them yourself before even crunching the weight. 
uh, make it so much heavier if you want to. So again, four sets, 15 to 20 reps on each one, whatever you can get out. Uh, but that is a wrap on my midsection training. So nice and raw. Um, I struggled a lot on this today. Uh, this is the first time I've done abs properly for a long time. And I can see how much my core strength has deteriorated in the space of like five months. So uh, definitely start incorporating this a lot more. Uh, give me a kick up the backside. Uh, but hopefully you've taken some tips away from like how I approach my abdominal training um, and hope you took something from this video. So thank you for watching not only this video, but the whole Raw series as a whole. I uh, really do appreciate it. I had some really good feedback. The next series we're going to be starting is off season. And that is not to be missed because that's all about nutrition, training, everything in that one. So uh, please subscribe to the channel. Please like and comment in this video. Let's get it boosted up. Um, and let's get this channel sky high. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.